Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Math 250. So I'm your instructor, my name's Professor McLaughlin. So I'm on the Canvas site for our course under Home. So over here you'll see Home, Grades, Modules, Discussions, Assignments. If you click on Home, it takes you to the home page. Then I tell you to start, to click on the Start Here button. If you click on this, we'll take you to the video you're watching right now. Okay, so uh, this is a face-to-face -face class, but it's going to be taught as a flipped class. And that means instead of me lecturing for the full two hours, you're going to be engaging with the material most of, most of the lecture period. Uh, so in order to participate, uh, you're going to need a have access to a device with a camera that can connect to the, to the internet. A smartphone's fine. And I believe our class also has computers, so you can use computers. So each day of class will then either be a lecture period or a quiz slash test period. And so during the lecture periods, you'll have 24 hours or so to work on a set of lecture questions that I post. And uh, how it's gonna work is the lecture questions will be made avail available 24 hours before the start of the scheduled class meeting. So for example, our first lecture period will start on Sunday, August 13th at 8 a.m. So you'll have access to the questions at, at this point. You don't come to class at this point, obviously. Uh, and then it will end on Monday at 10.05, so at the end of our scheduled class meeting time. So pretty much you'll have 24 hours to work on the questions. And uh, so during the lecture period, you can earn extra credit points by posting correct answers to the questions within a time frame I put on each question. And you can you can attempt the question as many times as you want within the time frame. And so during the scheduled class meeting times, then I'll be answering questions and going over solutions of the uh, of the questions. Okay, so let's see. So here's the links to important class information. And uh, we'll go over that in a second. At the bottom, you have my contact information. So how to contact me. Uh, so you can email me or you can come to my office hours. Okay, so going back up, going back up here. Uh, let's go over the syllabus now. So again, our class is gonna meet on Monday, Wednesdays from 8 to 10.05 a.m. And office hours, uh, these may change, but these are the office hour, tentative office hours, office hours for now. And the textbook is uh, this one, Lars and Edwards, Multivariable Calculus, ninth edition. And here's a link to the textbook. Okay. Course mod modality, so I already talked about it. It's a flipped class. And here's a video on how you can participate during the lecture periods. So you should watch that. Okay. Course description, you, you can look at that. It's multivariable calculus. Student learning outcomes, you can look at that. So attendance. So the way you'll be taking attendance is, well, you'll sign in on Canvas, and here's a video how to do that. But I'll also be passing around the sign-in sheet during each class, and you'll sign in that way too. Okay, but if you do miss more than two classes, I may drop you from the course, but don't assume that I will drop you. If you wanna drop the course, drop it yourself. So you make sure you drop it yourself. Don't assume that I will drop you. Homework. Well, homework I will assign, but I will not collect. So it's just for you to practice. Uh, quizzes. There's going to be nine quizzes throughout the semester. And no makeup quizzes will be given. But you can drop your lowest quiz score. So I'll take your base, best uh, eight quizzes. And uh, there'll be a 1% penalty for every minute your quiz is late. Uh, so we'll talk more about that in class, I guess, uh, if you have questions. And exams, 
there's going to be two exams and no makeup exams will be given. Again, you'll have a 1% penalty for every minute your exam's late. And then it'll be a final exam. Uh, and then the grading, the, uh, sorry, the, the weights of the grade will be 30% will be from the exams, 40% from the quizzes and 30% from the final. And letter grades are pretty much a standard. So tutoring services. So if you need help, come to my office hours first. But if you need additional help, go to the Learning Center and try and get some tutors to help you. Study tips, you can look at that. So if you have a disability and need an accommodation to participate in this class, let me know as soon as possible and we can work something out. Important dates, you can look at that. Student resources, you can look at that. So here's our schedule here. here. So our first day will be on the 14th, Monday. We'll be going over module one. Then day two, we'll continue, continue going over module one. Uh, day three, we'll continue. Day four, then you'll have a quiz. And uh, then day five, module two and so forth. So you can see everything's laid out for the whole semester here all the way until day 30 when you take your final. Okay, so let me go back to the homepage here. So suppose it's day one. So to get to the uh, class material, you can click on class content here. And this, this takes you to the same schedule that's at the bottom of the syllabus, which is easier to access here. Or another way is just click on modules over here. And so we'll be covering module one, the first uh, week and a half or two weeks. So at the top, I uh, gives you the objectives of the module. Then below that, you'll see practice quiz one. If you click on that, it takes you to a practice quiz. So your actual quiz will look very similar to this. So make sure you know how to do each of these questions on the practice quiz before you take the actual quiz. Okay, then you have homework. So here's the list of homework that you should work on along with me, along with videos of me going over similar type questions. And there's a link to the textbook at the top. And then before your first quiz, if you want to practice submitting a quiz, you can click on this because uh, when you take your quiz and exam, you'll have the option to take it online during the scheduled class meeting time, or you can take it in class. Okay, but you'll be submitting the quiz uh, by taking pictures of your work. Okay. And then below here, uh, you should watch these, how to participate during the lecture period. And also, if you want to share your work, so only I can see it, you can uh, click on this link here and it will explain how you do it. So pretty much you just insert your work into a Google Doc, and then you share the Google Doc so only I can see it. So here's a uh, day one stuff. <clears throat> so the first thing we'll do is attendance. So I click on attendance. You see right now it's locked until August 13th at 8, 8 a.m. But when you do come here after August 13th, say at 9 a.m. or whatever, you'll assign your name in a text box and then that's the way you'll Sign in. Then you go to student discussion next. Again, it's locked. And after you finish the student discussion, you go to lecture one, question one, and locked. Then you go to the second question. And then the third question. So let me just leave student view so you can see what it's going to look like. Okay, so when you come here on Monday or Sunday after uh, 8 a.m. and click on, say, lecture one, question one, 
it will take you here. At the top, I just described module one and now uh, when the, the first quiz will be and stuff like that. Then I tell you to start watching this video. So you start watching the video. And as you're watching the video, you're gonna work on this question. So if you click on it, it will take you to the question. And at the bottom, I say, if you post a correct answer for the question anytime before the first 30 minutes of our first scheduled class meeting, you will get one point extra credit added to your first quiz score. And you can attempt the question as many times as you want within the time frame. So if you do post an answer and it's not correct, I will say close, but you need to fix so-and-so. And then you can repost your answer and keep doing that until you get it right or the time runs out. So here's how you post your work. You have a reply button at the bottom. Do not use that one. Go to the top. You have a reply button up here. So you could type your answer here or more than likely what you'll do is you'll write it in a piece of paper and then you'll take a picture of your work and then upload it. So when you've taken a picture, you'll say insert and you go image, upload image, then click on the rocket. Then you'll choose your picture. So say it's this. So you'll choose it. And then where it says ALT text, you'll write, say solution one, and put your name. Shoot name. And then below that, by default, it always says embed image, do not choose that one, choose display link, and then say submit. So when you do that, it's gonna display a link to your, uh, to your work. If you do the other option, embed image, I'll see your whole image embedded in, in there, and it's gonna be very, very difficult for me to keep track of everybody's answers. So it's better if you uh, post it like this, and then you're gonna say post reply, so I'll be able to see your work then, and I'll write my comment below, and that's how it's gonna work. Okay, so that's how you will participate during the lecture periods. Okay, so I think that's the main features of the course. So I'll see you guys then on Monday at 8 a.m. Okay, see ya, bye.